Santa Barbara. You're not going to spend the night here. Can Cruz protect Eden from her husband's deadly embrace? You're my wife. This week. Do you want me to follow Kirk around the back of the house and keep an eye on him? Isn't Brenda back yet? No, not yet. No, I don't want to take a chance on Kirk seeing you or hearing you, so stay out of sight and stay off the radio. So what do you say? So now Kirk gave Brenda the slip. Get the lights, will you? Um, Damn it, I should have gotten you out of here when I had a chance. What are you doing? Kirk's coming around the back. He's got a gun this time. I don't want to give him a clear shot of blowing us away. Um, well, well this, is not, this isn't our plan. I mean, even though it's an accident, don't wait, you think wait, we should wait, go wait, to wait. it? Wait, wait, wait. I heard him. I hate being in this position. I'm going to sneak around. Uh, no. I know. I know. I I would divorce Kirk, but I, I don't know if what he would do. You you would you would never leave Santana and Brandon, would you? Would you? No, no, I can't. Well, I don't know what to do. I know Kirk suspects me. Are you sure? I I, I don't think he does. Well, no, I, I've been lying to him. He, he knows that. He's caught me in lies. More than one. I, I ought to stay a million miles away from you. That'd be terrible. I want you to be with me as much as you can. What's wrong? You both know it. Chris, come closer. I want you. I'll, I'll stay married to Kirk for appearances sake, and because eventually I want to have another child. I don't know if I could stand that. Yes, you can, because I want the child to be yours. You know, hopefully someday you'll leave Santana and you'll, and you'll come back to me. I, I don't want to hurt her, but I think that we should be happy someday. Mary! Mason, are you in there? Hmm. I didn't know you were here. Yeah, I, I'm, I wanted to be alone. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. No, it's okay, I just wanted to be quiet. You were looking for Mary. Yeah, I thought you might have come down here. You haven't oh, seen her, huh? No, no, I haven't. Would you excuse me? Oh, I didn't barge in on you and Kirk, did I? Or are you waiting for it? No. Uh, uh, to both questions, I, I just would appreciate it if, you, if you'd leave me alone and not tell anybody that you saw me here. Oh, I see. It's like that. No, it's not it? like anything. I just wanted some privacy. Don't read anything into it. No, no, you don't have to explain. I understand perfectly. I won't intrude any longer, but if you see Mary, tell her I was looking for her. Yeah, fine. What happened? Well, I guess Mason scared Kirk off. As soon as he came through the front door, Kirk left. Great. We've blown this whole thing. We still can't prove anything. Now we've made Kirk that much more dangerous. All right, uh, I want you to go home and pack a bag. I'm going to pick you up outside your house exactly 10, 15, and take you to the airport. Totally out of town is where you're going to if be. If I go... We can't possibly draw Kirk out into the open if he doesn't know where I am. That's okay. We're not going to do a setup like this ever again. We'll think of something else. Meanwhile, you invent some kind of business trip you need to take to Hawaii. I don't want to go back to Hawaii. Well, you're not going to go to Hawaii. You're going to Albuquerque. I don't much want to go to Albuquerque either. We're we talking about vacations here. I'm sending you to Albuquerque because that's where my family lives and because I have a friend on the force who will look after you, Eden. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do in Albuquerque. I love uh, it. I'll tell you, you're going to stay at a site, you're going to relax for a change, and you're going to hire an attorney. Why? Because you're going to get a divorce. Meanwhile, I'll be, I'll be watching Kirk. When you get back to town, you're going to have already filed, and we can throw him out of the house legally. Well, that's a stupid idea. What? If I divorce Kirk, then he's living outside the house, and we don't know when or where he's going to strike. So what? We're not going to tempt fate like this ever again. This you got a will? I want you to rewrite it. You got any insurance policies? Have him as the beneficiary? Burn him. He is not going to try to kill me for my money. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if it's an added inducement. He wants to kill me because I love you. You know those things I said before? Well, a lot of them I meant. I need you. And no matter what you say about us not ever being together anymore, 
Kirk's not going to believe it. And neither do I. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. What is it? He's with Brenda. Kirk's already back at the house. There we go. Hello, CC. Uh, Kirk, uh, this came by messenger. I, uh, thought it was business. I opened it by mistake. I'm sorry. It's all right. I've been expecting it. You know what it is in? Paid jeweler's invoice for a necklace for $20,000. Yeah, well, you seem a lot more impressed with it than Eden was. Perhaps I should have showed her that invoice. Very generous of you. You know something, CC? I've been treating Eden much better, and you, for that matter, than either one of you deserves. And I have knocked myself out for Capwell Enterprises and for my marriage, and the only thing I get in return is to be treated like dirt. Kirk, just wait one Ooh. minute. No, I'm sure, you know, you all think you've been wonderful. You've been a wonderful father, father to Eden. You've been very understanding, no matter what she's doing, no matter Kirk. who she's with. Kirk, have you seen Mary any place this evening? No, I haven't. Have you seen Eden? Have I? Yes, have you seen... Oh, I'm sorry, CC. perhaps you should ask him. Uh, I forgot, nobody seems to want to tell me anything in this house. No, I'd be happy to tell you. No, I haven't seen her. That is a lie. Now, just a minute, I'd rather resent that. And I want to tell you something. I love Eden. And I'm going to go on loving Eden no matter what she keeps doing to me. What are you talking about? What is she She's doing She's having you? an affair, CC. That's right. Your daughter, your married daughter, has the morals of... Uh, Hold your mouth. Ask her. No, if you don't believe me, why don't you just go ahead and ask her? Let, let's see what kind of a lie she comes up with this time, all right? So, or maybe you don't have to ask her. Maybe you're in on this with her. Maybe you're helping her to conceal it. Well, I'll just tell you something. Minute. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of all of you. None of you can be trusted. None of you can be believed. It doesn't surprise me that Eden is the way she is, considering the way she was raised. Kirk may be wrong about Eden, but he certainly got you pegged. In what way? Gina and you. You're perfectly suitable. She may be a conniver. You're the one who married her. I saw her every night with the soup and forgot her with the brandy until she threw herself at me. You didn't add it again. No. Hello, Ted. You're just in time. Now, Dad was just uh, reminiscing about his late wife, Gina. Sentimental to the end, you know. Will you two stop? You won't even hear you all the way outside. Talking about Gina. Get over that. Why? She's dead. Let her rest in peace. Well, you're right, Eden. The way we've been talking about her, Gina's probably whirling over in her grave. Or somebody else's, knowing Gina. I would like to talk to you, Eden. And I would like to talk to her alone, if you all don't mind. Since I know what it's about, I'll just go make my phone calls in the study. Dad, I'd like a word with you too, please. Dad, I know what it's about. And I don't want to go into it, okay? I don't want to even argue with you. Dad, we had an agreement, remember? I am supposed to be independent around here. I can't believe that I made such a ridiculous arrangement. I mean, I really, I can't believe it. I was a moment of weakness, and I lived to regret every day of it. Dad, regret it or not, it's a promise. Do you want me just to let you guys throw your lives away in the name of independence? Yes! I don't think I really want to talk to you while you're in this kind of mood. Is Kirk upstairs? Well, I am glad that you are interested enough to inquire. Kirk has been here as and has gone, and he is what I'd like to talk to you about. Eden, I have to ask you a question, and I want the truth. Have I ever lied to you? No, you haven't. Ever. And I'm almost embarrassed to ask you, but I have to. Are you having an affair? Has Kirk said something to you? Does he have you spying on him now? Honey, he is just upset. He needed somebody to talk Disturbed to. Disturbed is more like it. I would hate to think that you would believe anything Kirk would say would about you, something like would that. You, please stop talking to him so sharply to me, please. Well, you started it. I'm only defending myself. Well, don't. Please don't. I'm not attacking you. I just want to know. I'm sorry. That, um, 
beautiful necklace you're wearing. Something that Kirk gave you, wasn't it? Yes. Do you have any idea what it cost? You always taught me that it was vulgar to discuss the price of things. Let me show you what it cost. Extravagant. Wonder how much of me $20,000 is supposed to buy. Honey, he's your husband. He shouldn't have to buy your affections. Well, maybe he learned it from you. All his promotions and raises. Maybe he equates money with love. Wouldn't be the first man you've ruined that way. I was trying to take care of Kirk, don't you understand that? To make you happy to have your marriage successful. Yeah, well, I would love for my marriage to be successful. But Kirk is making it impossible. Who is this man you're having an affair with? It can't be Cruz. He wouldn't betray Santana. Who? How can you believe that I would betray Kirk? Please, make that a denial for me. You can, you can think anything you want, Daddy. You know, you have tried since the beginning of this relationship to cement it with me and Kirk. And I will not have you concerning yourself with my marital or my extramarital life anymore. I can't believe you're saying this to me. And for the first time in my life, I'm ashamed of you. It's a very bitter thing for me to say. Eden's home, she must have seen the invoice by now. You think it'll work? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I think she's going to see the time and the date on the invoice. She's going to do some checking. And then she's going to realize that I couldn't possibly have been with you that night at the boathouse. That, that I was with a jeweler in Ojai. By the way, that piece of jewelry that you picked out. It's the best piece of work you've ever done. Well, you sound very confident, Kirk. But I guess you have every reason to be. I don't think Eden would continue to see Cruz if she thought you were going to kill her for it. Well, a very strange thing it just happened. I just blew up at CC. I had no intention of doing that at all, but now that I've done it, I think it was very smart. You know? I told him that Eden was having an affair. He's going to chew her out for that. I don't even have to say another word about it. I wish I could have seen his reaction. His precious Eden cheating on his precious Kurt. Well, it doesn't matter. Eden always gets her own way. No, no, no. Not this time. He was angry. You could see it in his eyes. Now, he's going to read her out for this one, and, and hopefully she's going to have enough respect for her father that she'll, she'll feel guilty and she'll stop cheating on me like this. You just love guilt, don't you? Like the time you tried to make Eden think that, that she tried to kill Cece? Well, I don't think she'll fall for it a second uh, time. No, this is different, Gina. She doesn't feel any guilt about betraying me. No, she, she's reveling in it, but someday she is going to regret these, these special moments that she's spending with Cruz, and she will come back to me. Why would you want her back? I mean, you can't control her mind or her emotions. And you certainly, well, with your delicate heart, you can't do much with her body. Of course, you don't really know what that delicate heart of yours can do yet, do you? you might blow a gasket at any time. Oh, shut up, Gina! Have I hit a nerve, Kirk? You don't like being reminded about your feminine heart, do you? A heart is a heart. Period. Oh, some are stronger than others. I wish we had an oxygen tent available. I'd give yours a trial run for you. See how strong it really is. <laughs> Yeah, well, I wouldn't want to ruin your wonderful memories of Cece. For your information, Cece was a very good lover. I doubt you could measure up. That's very funny. But don't you tempt me, unless you intend to do something about it. Oh, come on, Kirk. Take me to the moon. Let's see if we can get those old colored lights to get going again. You disgust me. Don't worry, Kirk, a few more transplants here and there and you'll be almost out. Damn you, Gina! Yes, this is Mrs. Kirk Cranston. Yeah, I'm sorry to bother you at this hour. I just wanted to give you a call to personally thank you for making the beautiful necklace. Oh, yes, no, oh, it's, it's wonderful. I love it. You know, just out of curiosity, how many hours did it take you to make something like this? Well, that's amazing. You know, I, I know this this might seem this seem odd, but I seem to remember m my husband being with me the day he supposedly ordered the necklace. There's there's no way you could have made a mistake on the receipt, is there? 
You, you spent over two hours with him? Well, no, I, I guess it's my mistake then. He has, oh, no, no, it's, it's beautiful. I'll wear it every chance I get. Thank you. Goodbye. Here's seven, uh, yeah, like, seven fifty-four. Uh, yes, thank you. Goodbye. Going somewhere? Uh, no. As a matter of fact, I was canceling a flight. The Walton people called another meeting in Hawaii, and I didn't see any need for me to be there. Really? You know, Kirk, I saw the invoice on the necklace. It was very expensive. You really shouldn't have spent that much money. It was worth it. It was wonderful on you. How did you find out about it? Daddy showed me. I should have guessed. I wish he hadn't. Doesn't matter. I love it, no matter what it cost. Did the people at the meeting say anything about it? You know, businessmen. They don't really mention those things. Then they're fools. I'm glad you came home early, Eden. Why don't we go upstairs now? Give me a minute. Okay. Don't make me wait too long. Where's your suitcase? Well, I was going to call you and tell you, but I, I, I didn't dare. Kirk's upstairs waiting for me. Tell me what. I want you to look at this. This is the invoice for the necklace. I want you to look at the date and the time of the appointment. This can't be right. It is. I even called the jeweler to verify it. Kirk was there over two hours designing this necklace. There was no possible way he could be at the boathouse the day I was. I don't believe this. Somebody made a mistake. No. I think we're the ones that's made a mistake. What if we've been wrong from the beginning? Uh -uh. What if he's just been acting out of jealousy and nothing more? And I've been torturing him all this time. But I will get to the bottom of this as soon as I can. But in the meantime, you're not going to spend the night here. It's too late. <clears throat> Look, it's stalling. Uh, think of an excuse you have to get out of the house. No, I don't want you here tonight I alone. Look, I have the beeper. I, I, I won't let him touch me. And I probably won't even sleep. Eden, I gotta go. Eden. What are you doing? Oh, I was just getting some air. Are well, you ready to, uh, to go upstairs now? Yes, Kirk. You know, I thought I heard you talking to somebody else. Oh, I was, but they're gone now. Yeah. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's all right. You're here now. Bye.